and welcome to Museum Mornings. My name is Eliana and I am a member of the learning team here at the Jewish Museum. Today's theme is mitzvot or commandments and we will be looking at a photograph on our collection and then I have a craft activity that you can do at home. Now I wonder if anyone knows how many commandments of mitzvot there are in the Jewish Holy Scroll, the Torah. If you think you know or would like to take a guess, please do discuss it with the person you're watching with and feel free to write your answer in the comment below this video. So I'll give you a moment to discuss with the person you're watching with and write in the comments. So you're thinking about how many mitzvot or commandments there are in the Torah, the Jewish Holy Scroll. Now, if you wrote down or mentioned or said 613, you would be right. That is a lot of commandments. Today, we will be focusing on just one of those commandments. And we call this commandment tzedakah. Tzedakah is a Hebrew word and it literally translates as justice or fairness. But it's, it is often translated as charity, since charity is a great way to contribute to justice or fairness in the world. Sadaka is a commandment given by God to help bring fairness or justice into the world. There are many types of sadaka. The most common type of tzedakah is giving money to people who are less fortunate and to the communities that take care of them. One of the most important types is showing kindness and helping others. Now, why do you think it's important to help other people? Take a moment to discuss this with someone you're watching with and feel free to comment below. So we're thinking about why it's important to help other people. So just take a moment to discuss with someone you're watching with and you can put your comments in the comments box below the video. When we help other people, we call this doing a mitzvah or doing mitzvot or good deeds as sometimes this is known as. These can be things such as visiting the elderly, helping someone who is sick, and giving up your time to volunteer for charities. They are all forms of tzedakah. Another form of tzedakah is activism towards social justice or fairnessness in society, such as going to protests for movements for racial equality, countering climate change and taking part in pride. I am now going to share my screen and show you an example of Sadaka from our collection here at the Jewish Museum. Now, let's look closely at this image. We are going to focus on what we can see. I'm going to ask you some questions and you can either think about them yourself, discuss with someone you're watching with, or write your thoughts in the comments below this video. What can you see? Just think about what you can see in front of you on the image.
Where do you think this photo is taken? You might have noticed that there's writing on the top of the building. What does it say? What then do you think this building was used for? The writing across the top of the building says soup kitchen. So we might guess that this building was for providing food to those who needed it. This photo is from 1979. We think taken by someone called George Olson, since this name is noted on the back. The photograph shows the soup kitchen for the Jewish poor, which was founded in 1854 and it moved to Brune Street in 1902. We can see two dates across the top of the building, 1902 and 5662, which was the Hebrew year in 1902. The soup kitchen was set up to provide food for the many poor Jewish immigrants who fled to London due to both economic difficulties and religious persecution in Eastern Europe. There were lots of Jewish immigrants who came to the UK from around 1880 to 1914, which we often call the Great Migration. The soup kitchen relied on donations and community support to distribute food. The soup kitchen made several leaflets and advertisements to appeal for donations. Until 1939, the institution was just a soup kitchen, dis dispensing soup that was cooked and eaten in the same building or taken away in cans. However, by World War II, rationing made it impossible to continue providing this service. Instead, available foods were distributed in return for ration coupons. The actual kitchen did not reopen again, and those in the charity's records received an allocation of bread and groceries three times a week. In the 1950s, it was feeding 1,500 people each week. Special distributions were made for festivals, including a small, small allowances of money with a special fund for Passover. On in March 1955, a Yiddish play was performed at the Scala Theatre to raise money for the soup kitchen. And in 1974, there was a special appeal to mark the soup kitchen's 120th anniversary. The building in Brune Street was emptied by the organisation in July 1991 and its role was taken over by Jewish Care in Beaumont Grove. This is just one example of the many charities that were set up in the East End of London to help immigrants arriving at this time and continue to provide charity to the community throughout the 20th century. Sometimes performing the mitzvah of Sadaka can seem overwhelming since there are so many different causes that need our help. But even just a small act of sadaka can go such a long way. Sometimes it helps to plan little acts that we can do on a daily or weekly basis. And that is why today's activity you can, is creating a mood board, which will allow us to focus on certain causes and make a plan to do regular acts of sadaka. A mood board is like a collage, filled with images, text, even sample of objects. You can use old magazines and newspapers to fill your mood board. 
or you can draw and write your ideas yourself or you can do both. Now for this activity, there are four simple steps. Step one, you need to gather your materials. So you can use a piece of paper of any size. You need colored pens and pencils, perhaps something to stick with, so um, print stick or um, sellotape. Um, you can, you might need some old magazines, some newspapers and or any craft materials that you have available to you. Step two, you will need some time to research and think about the causes that you'd like to concentrate on. For example, a great resource for finding local social action initiatives is mitzvaday.org.uk. Other examples include planning to create petition or you can choose which environmental initiatives to support. You could seek out volunteering opportunities in your local area. There's lots of things that you can do. Step three, make your mood board. So you need to put all your ideas and your materials in one place. Step four, please do share your mood board with us. Um, share it on social media and tag us at Jewish Museum. And don't forget the hashtag hashtag museum mornings. Sorry, the, that tag is at Jewish Museum LDN. Um, it's actually written slightly wrong on there, but um, I'll make sure that I put the right tag um, in the comments box below. So don't worry. And I'll also put all of these instructions on the comments box below as well. So um, I would just like to show you an example of the mood board that I created. So this is, um, the mood board that I created, um, on, on my mood board, I have lots of different things. I, I have separated it into two categories, environment and social justice. So things in the social justice section, for example, are uh, ways I can support the Black Lives Matter movement, how I can be an LGBTQ plus ally, um, perhaps always buying fair trade chocolate and coffee, in the environment category, things that I've written are making bird feeders using recycled bottles, planting flowers that bees love, and supporting ocean cleanup initiatives. So it's now your turn. So the four steps are gather your materials. Step two, you need to make uh, you need to make some time to research and think about the causes that you're passionate about. Step three, you need to make your mood board. And step four, please do share um, with us your mood board. Uh, share it on social media and tag us at Jewish Museum LDN. And don't forget the hashtag, hashtag Museum Mornings. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy making your mood board. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now.